change of plans. I'm going to get different fittings tomorrow. It's times like these. Keep going until you find something. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Sabina Park Farming and Contracting. It's just gone midnight on a Sunday morning and I have got to do some modifications to the hay forks because one of the tines, the little collet that is tapered that holds the spear is so worn out that it sits, one fork sits like this and one fork sits straight. So I've got to oxy that out, put the new one in put the spear back in, new nut, all of that. Also got to do some hydraulic repairs to it because the hoses keep getting knocked off. I've repaired it about four times. They're still not right, so I'm going to make a slight modification and also build some guiding for it. Why midnight, you might ask? Well, for my other job, I am going on to night shift tomorrow. So as part of the transition, how I like to transition and I find easiest is I will work as late as I can the night before and hopefully that'll take me to about three or four o'clock in the morning this job and then i'll go to bed get up about 10 wake up and do a couple of hours work go back to bed and then i'll head out to my other job at about four o'clock in the afternoon and that'll be the first actual night shift so that's how i transition how do you guys transition Leave it in the comments below and we'll bring the tractor in and we'll make a start on these modifications. As you can see, hopefully you can see that. <coughs> that fork is not meant to, meant to do that. It's meant to be nice and solid like this one. There's a very slight bit of movement in that, but it's just tightening the nut up. But this one is well worn out. So we're going to cut that out with an oxy gas set. Take the fork out first. In fact, I might just try cut that with a grinder first. And we'll see how it looks after that. Might have to flip it over. But we'll see. Hope you got earmuffs on. This could get noisy. So that nut 
it's completely worn out that shouldn't have a taper on it and those are two bushes or shims or bits of old bearing that I put in just to try and pull it up to make it tighter so that uh, we could actually get it to work but this thing is so overlaid, so worn out that even that wouldn't do it anymore all right we'll get into the removal of the old one Now we're going to flip it over, do the other side, knock it out, grab the new one, weld it in, make sure it's all square. Sounds simple, right? Definitely not the recommended way of using a sling, but anyway. On to part two. It's times like these. Keep grinding until you find something. Aha! Success! So, you can see just there. Hopefully the light picks it up. It's a little line. Runs from there. Around there. We're going to keep following that till we get it all the way out. Oh. 
hopefully now you can see we've got a ring all the way around apologies for the light it is past midnight but you can see there's a ring there so now hopefully when I hit it with a hammer it'll pop right out with any luck Maybe a bigger hammer. It would seem that sometimes you need to put to practice what my friend Ozzy says. Cut your way in, weld your way back out of it. There we go, finally got it out. The new boss is actually bigger than the old one. So I have to take to that with a die grinder and make it a little bit bigger. It's actually going to stick out a bit further back too, which is interesting. But, not really a big problem in the grand scheme of things, as long as the front's the same, and it's nice and tight. Okay, so we've got a bit more light on the subject, and uh, well, that's it installed. It's more or less in line. I think it's going to come out a little bit more uh, this way forward to line up with the face of that one. So I'm going to set the offset about the same as the other one with the verniers, and then I'm going to weld it in. And we should have a better functioning set of fork tines with any luck. The old measure twice, cut once, certainly came into play this time. 
the old measure twice, cut once certainly came into play this time. Thought it was all square, but I was actually two mil. I have no idea what that is in inches over one side. So this should square it all up. And there you have it. Good is almost new. Kind of. So now we're just going to flip it over. We're going to weld that other side. And then we'll get onto the hydraulic side of things. So I'm not sure if you can see that in the light, but that weld that I did a few months ago is actually cracked. Which could have been disastrous, although it is hanging on that point as opposed to having a lot of load bearing off of it. But while we're here, I might as well clean it up and re-weld it. And there you have it, <clears throat> halfway there, or a third maybe, don't think I'm going to get it all done today, but that's alright, at least the worst part of it's done, and we'll go from there. Now the question is, does it fit and line up? Oh yeah. That'll work. That looks good. <clears throat> really happy with that. Now we get noisy, and we're done.
Very nice. Change of plans. I'm going to get different fittings tomorrow, hopefully, with any luck. And that'll be a whole nother video doing all of that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. <clears throat> hope that you learned something. If you liked the video, if you want to see more of it, just uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the bottom, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.